Hey, what's going on guys? This video, we're going to go through an example of polymorphism. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So the first thing we should probably look at is our inheritance hierarchy. We have a user class, it's abstract, and then we extend this class through this student class. So user is kind of the parent, student is the child. But what I want to do is I actually want to create another class. So right click our project and new class, and this one's going to be a, a teacher. Finish. And this is going to extend user. And then hover over this and see we have to inherit user dot say hello. So we'll do that down here and we'll just say I'm a teacher and make sure this is in ASIS out. And obviously this needs to be void. Okay, I think that should be good. Oh, and it needs to be public. Dang it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Wow, that was that was just embarrassing. Usually I'm not that bad, but I was I was getting confused because I was putting the override on the same line, so it looked like it was complete. Now because teacher and student both extend user, we can treat them both as users. So over in our program, what I want to do is I first want to create a new teacher and then set some values here, like so. So what we can do is we can actually create a list of type user and treat both of these objects as user since they extend user. So we'll create a new array list and then we'll just add these by saying users.add, pass in s, and pass in t. Now when we iterate through these, we'll use a, a for each loop. We'll just say for user u colon users. And then we'll say u dot say hello. Running this, it looks like I got an error in my student class. Let me just double check this. Uh, it looks like I'm missing a curly brace. All right, great. Now let's run this. And you see the first one says the student version, and then the second one says I'm a teacher. We also have this extra output coming from right here. So I'm just going to comment that out. So the whole concept of polymorphism is that a student can be a user and it can also be a student depending on what context. This allows us to be very general by addressing a parent class and then all of the classes that extend that will do the appropriate thing. Now if for some reason user was not abstract and you could instantiate a user, then you called say hello, well then it would do the user version of the say hello method. So it's very dynamic. Imagine if we had 20 different classes that all extended from user, we can just create one version of our code that addresses all users and it would work. So that is your example of polymorphism. There's a lot more you could study on that, so be sure to do that if you're interested. Next video, we're gonna be getting into constructors and it's basically an opportunity to clean up all this junk by using custom constructors.